What's up man, 25 Gamers? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about how we like to get right B-gap pressure from the Dime 146 formation. This can be accomplished pretty simply, but I want to go over, and this is kind of the difference between next gen Madden and Madden, current gen Madden. So from the Dime 146, a popular con a play that a lot of guys have been using this season is the Mike Strong Safety 1 Dog in combination with the Mike Strong Safety 2 Buzz and the Mike Strong Safety 3 Seam. For this video, we're just going to break down one of the plays, but you can apply the same setup to every uh, play that has that same blitz angle. So all three of those plays I just named can use the same setup. Okay, guys, so what we're going to be doing here is first I want to show you the, the blitz from current gen Madden. And so what people would do is they would base the line, they'd spread their defensive line, they, or excuse me, they'd spread their linebackers, shift their line to one side, and then they would global blitz that linebacker and keep the same coverage and everything looks the same and they should get pressure off that right edge and as you see on next gen you still get a guy you still get them to come in fairly quickly but they don't come in free that's the difference between next gen and current gen in next gen Madden you have to blitz from depth and it's not necessarily about overloading principles such as shifting all of your guys uh, out so like just spreading everybody out wide as you just saw it's more about blitz angles. It's more about um, sl I call them slip angles, but basically, um, if you look here on this play here, this angle to Qu Quentin Copples is slanting in. It's more like that stuff. The slants, the slip. I call them the slips. But you see, that's going to generate the pressure. So, anyways, back to the play that we're breaking down for today. Uh, what we want to do here is we want to base align our defense. We want to spread our defensive line. And then from there, we can make a couple of coverage adjustments. We're going to take um, Muhammad Wilkerson, and we're going to drop him into a quarterback spy. And then we're going to take Calvin Pace here, and we're going to drop him into a uh, curl flat zone. Um, another thing that you could do is man him up on Eric Decker here if you wanted to, just depending on where they're going uh, with their passing. But you see here... Um, as you see here, we're going to get that slip angle at the quarterback and try to get that pressure in. Um, it's not always going to work. That's another thing about next gen. Um, not every, any blitz, unless it's sending six guys, is not always going to work. Sometimes your three-man blitzes will get picked up. But they are fairly consistent, and you can use them in online games. And I think that, for my money, blitzes work just a little bit better in the game mode than they do in practice mode. But that's just me, and I think I have a couple of other guys that would agree with me.